What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue torquing down some stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and torque down the Eilish Sprocket bolt. Torque down the camshaft uh, caps. Hold down things, whatever you want to call it, or whatever the actual term is. Um, I'm gonna try to put the camshafts back on with the upper timing chain. Uh, make sure my timing is good. Um, torque down the camshafts, and then uh, yeah, we'll get from there. So um, yeah, here we go. All right, so I messed up. I know you saw me torquing down the camshaft bolts. Um, completely forgot to put the timing chain on. Oh, so, rookie mistake, it's been a while, but um, ah, so glad I got able to break it loose. But um, yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to we'll redo it again, and uh, yeah. Alright, so turn down the other sprocket bolt, the camshaft uh, cam bolts, camshaft bolts, um, sprocket bolts, sprockets, put the. Oh man, it's so dark already. Yeah, anyways, I turn down, put the upper timing chain tensioner, timing chain guides, upper timing chain guides, and um. That's it for this part of the video. Three days later. All right, welcome back. So this just came in the mail. Put them. So ordered these from bhphotovideo.com. Got the GoPro mic adapter for my GoPro Hero 5 Black. As you can see, you can. There you go. It's an external mic adapter, and then I got the Ulanzi case that can hold the. Um, GoPro mic adapter which also has a code shoe where I can mount my road mic and um yeah let's get to it what's up guys welcome well I'm not gonna say welcome back to another episode because this is a continuing clip um so I got the my road mic mounted onto my new case with the GoPro mic adapter trying to figure out how and why it wasn't working I guess there's a certain way that the USB type C plugs into the GoPro for it to work uh, I also had to use the other road cable road mic cable that it came with but um so we're gonna go ahead and continue working on the puzzle pieces of my drift car so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go paint it here this is what we got so I got uh, the metallic cobalt blue rust-oleum we're gonna paint it that and then we're gonna top it off with some high heat clear let's go ahead and get to cleaning this uh, valve cover just gotta remember though gotta wear eye protection because I'm gonna be using a wire wheel make sure you stay protected all right let's get to this time lapse All right, so I'm not a professional at cleaning shit like this, but um, it should be close enough as long as there's not a lot of grease or any grease. That's why I was using the degre degreaser on it, spring degreaser, so that way the surface doesn't have a greasy or oily residue for the paint to not stick. So we're gonna let this dry up and then um, in the sun for a little bit and then um i'll get back to it. mask it off or mask off the things that don't need to be painted on it and then hit it up with some some paint so while the valve cover is drying up um completely forgot that i need to go ahead and um 
clean this yucky upper front timing cover. Hopefully we can get it to a nice aluminum finish. We'll see. All right, so now that the valve cover is pretty dry, I'm gonna go ahead and mask the spark plug tube seals and the uh, oil cap um, mounting point. I don't want paint inside the threading. I need freaking this to be completely dry, especially around here so that the oil cap can properly seal. I don't know why I'm gonna mask the spark plug tube seals, but I think I'm just gonna do it anyways. <laughs> so um, yeah, I already put in some, I guess, shop towel into the the port for the PCV and um yeah we'll get to it all right so I've never used that spray pin before and I don't ever think I'm going to use that again. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that was kind of weird shooting. I mean, it looks okay. It looks kind of cool. But the way it was coming out of the can was a little strange. I'm not used to that. It looked more like just a shitload of blue flakes, if anything. Um, I'm not expecting a perfect paint job on my valve cover. It's gonna be under the hood. As long as it looks decent from what it was before, I'm okay with that. Decided to go with this blue because I was trying to go for like the Tomei blue color. I don't think I pulled it off, but if it comes close, then shit, that's pretty cool. All right, so here's the upper timing cover. It's not the greatest, but I mean, like I said, my car is not a show car. I'm not going for anything. Perfect. I'm not a perfectionist. I just want to look decent and perform better. You know what I mean? More about function than uh, what do you call that? Form. So I was actually thinking about hitting up with some aluminum spray paint, which I do have, but yeah, I'm probably not going to do that. Or uh, I don't know. We'll see. So I still have the intake manifold to work on. I'm just trying to focus on the hood, or the hood, the head, get everything back together. Then I can focus on the intake manifold and its components. But yeah. Right, here it is. Timed and everything, Tommy head gasket. I'm gonna go ahead and set my um, crank to top dead center. So that's gonna be, then you know, like we paint that, that mark, but it's gonna be the second timing mark here, which would put it at, okay, if I can remember, 15, 20 degrees, something like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick, and then um, we'll probably do the upper timing cover. already all the painted marks on the chain moved because I was rotating the crank just to make sure that everything was free didn't feel like the valves were hitting the pistons so um, yeah the chain moved which is fine because I set it before I obviously um, turned the crank um, yeah So I'm going to probably end this episode right here. I need to go find where I put my valve cover gasket. I don't remember. I threw it in storage. So uh, probably going to do that tomorrow. Plus I still got to wait for the valve cover to, for the paint to finish drying um, before I can actually start putting, um, bolting it down. And then, um, but yeah, so um, 
be safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Oh,